Good morning, everyone. This is Thursday, <clears throat> June the 8th. It is 11.30 a.m. in the morning, and our current temperature is 9 degrees Celsius. And I'm in the darkness side today. And this spot right here <clears throat> is the Sobeys area in Penhorn Plaza. And there's some big changes going on here, so I want to just start off showing some of that. They've built a sidewalk on the other side over there. It wasn't there before. And back in here is going to be almost like a little village. They're getting ready to start building. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff already happened back here. And I can't go all the way back into the construction zone, but I can walk to the corner of the sidewalk here and walk up through the back and maybe we'll get a a look at what's going on back here there's going to be buildings of all sizes in here several will be like uh two stories and then eight or nine stories and different different uh, levels of buildings in here and it's a big area too so it's going to be it's going to put a lot of people in this little area, for sure. Yeah, there's already quite a number of this here now. You can see there's lots of apartment buildings in this area. So we're going to walk around here. And uh, the sidewalk's all new, too. This, this on this side. And then they put a, a, like a paved one on the other side. And the street lights are in. See that? Never had street lights in here before. So the street lights are all in. <clears throat> so we'll walk in here. We're behind the, this is like a, a second building by Sobeys. It's not the supermarket. It's like, I think it's offices and stuff like that in there. And there is a, a restaurant in here too for breakfast and stuff like that. Um, the Sobe store is the next building over. <clears throat> but this is a big area they're, they're uh, working on in here. I'll walk right over here to the edge of the parking lot and you can see how big this is. <clears throat> Anybody that lived around here before and, and then comes back is going to be like in shock. What has happened here? Then they're gonna say, when did this all get built? But things move fast. Like anybody who's been away from Halifax for two or three years right now will be shocked when they come back. And how much stuff is built. And it's still not near enough because there's still apartment shortages and landlords that are acting unscrupulous. And um, I can't say all of them are, no. Some of them are good, but some of them are taking advantage of a situation where apartments are scarce. And <clears throat> people trying to get an apartment, like if you come here and you're looking for an apartment, oh boy, well, you're up, you're up, unless you get really lucky, you're up for a quite an experience. <clears throat> you might get lucky and get a good one right off the start, but there's so many of them that's acting greedy and they're just trying to use this. Yeah, all, it all started after the pandemic. Okay. See where this yard is? It goes way up here, like way over there, still machinery over there. This is huge. It's going to make a lot of uh, places to live when this is completed. Anyway, as I was saying, both apartments. When the pandemic came along, they took advantage of that. And there was a freeze on the, then, they, then, then our government did put a freeze on the rent for them. Then it's got lifted and then they all went crazy. They just, just, the rents are twice what they were back then now. The only way of putting controls on, you gotta leave them there to be permanent you got to keep the rent controls on forever because if you take them off the, the landlords are going to just jump and put everything out of reach 
I don't know how people, people who are working for, you know, small wages, I don't know what they do. I really don't. It, it's going to be, it must be a battle. It must be tough trying to find a place to live in that you can afford to buy groceries after you pay the rent. It must be really, really, really tough. Well, I'm in front of Sobe's store now, and this is the other building right here. I'm just looking over there, and there's a building right across the road going up too. It's gonna to put a lot of people in this area. But that's the growth of the city. I don't mind seeing growth. I like I like cities to keep moving, keep keep building and keep things going ahead and well, I had my little rant about the greedy landlords. There is certainly a lot of them around. We were gonna to move to a bigger bigger apartment, a little closer to my son's work, and it would have been ideal. It was just about twice what our rent is now, but we could have done it. And uh, so we went there filled out the application, went all through that. She showed us the apartment. And then we told her, you gotta let us know as soon as possible if we got it or not, so we can let our landlord know we're moving and give a month notice, because that's what you gotta do. You gotta give a month notice. And so therefore, when you're moving in, she'd give you a month's notice. And then everything just clicks, wonderful. Everybody's happy and everybody got their month notice and it's, it's great. Well, it come right down to, like, we had one or two days left before it would be too late for that month. And uh, still no word from the apartment. So my wife called him up and they say, uh, oh, we don't know yet because we got a whole bunch more applications to go through. Meanwhile, we can afford it. We've been in our building for five years and they never had to ask us where's the rent once. Like it's always in a couple of days before it needs to be. And uh, it, it, but I don't know. I don't know what they were looking for. You know, I don't know. It, 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 it really, it kind of makes you just wonder, what do they want? What, do, what does the landlord want? What are they looking for? And the tenant, we, we, we don't party, we don't destroy things. We, we, we pay our rent on time, we're good neighbors. I don't know. But yet we didn't get it and they had to look through a whole bunch more. So my wife told them, forget about it because we have to give a month's notice. If you can't give us a month's notice in time, then I guess we won't be able to go any farther with this one. So that's what happened with that one. But we are looking again, and hopefully something will turn out good. I know all landlords aren't like that. You know what I thought probably was going on, and I don't know, I might be right, what I thought was going on, they tell you the rent's 1800, okay? So you agree to that. Then they got to look at more, more applications. So to me, that meant, that meant, we'll try to get 19 of the next person. And if they agree to that, then we'll try to get 2,000 of the next one that comes along. And there's like a, a bidding war, but you don't know it because you're, you're, you're not privy to all this information, so you don't know what they're doing. But that's what I would think is probably going on because why else would they have to look? They already got somebody here right in front of them that, that paid their rent for five years and never missed a single rent, never was late, never caused an inch of trouble, never never did anything. Don't, don't drink, we, 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 we don't smoke and we don't mess up the building, we keep it neat and tidy, we don't bother the office too much for stuff, only when something is, needs fixing, and which is, that's not unreasonable. So, yeah, they must be playing a little game like that. Waiting for a whole bunch of applications and each one they up with a little bit more from the last one. And however much they can get out of you, that's the one's going to get the appointment.
but thankful they don't all do that. So we got a we got a quote here, and then we're looking at a place. So we'll see how this one goes. The thing is, when you already have an appointment, they can't. They haven't got you backed into a corner. You just say yes or no. If I if you don't like the way they're doing business, you can just say no. You already got a place to live. You're not not like out there looking for a place to live and you're sleeping in your car or something. It's not like that. So we kind of got that over them. They can't pull anything on us. And if all we got to do is say no, if they, if they, if they go a month, they let us know if we got our, got our appointment. And in a month's time, they tell you, Oh, we still got a bunch of uh, applications to look through. You're not getting it, because you already had a month to let us know. And now we have got to let our landlord know, and we can't do that because they never told us. So there you go, you just drop it. You say, okay, fine, we'll move on. We'll move on to the next one. All right, now, let's see. Where am I going to go from here? I've covered this plaza, the Penhorn Plaza. I just wanted to show you the construction that's going on behind there. And I uh, had my little rant about these, these uh, rental companies. And that's not a lie. The things I said is true. And I hope I can stir up something by, by bringing up these things and talking about them. Maybe they'll get some laws passed. Because right now, right now it's the, it's, the, it's the building owner's market. It's not the renter's market. It's the rental people's market. They're calling the shots and you've got no say in it. That, that's, that's all there is to it. You've got nothing to say about it. You keep your fingers crossed and hope you get it. And there's nothing you can do. Like, we're doing all the right things. We're, we, we should be the most sought-after tenants in the city of Halifax because we don't bother them. They're not, they, like I said, we don't, we don't tear the place apart. We don't make a, a, a horrible lot of noise. I am a guitar player, and once in a while I, I take that out, but, but I don't do it late at night or anything. Or, or early in the morning, I do it at a reasonable time when people are up. And then I don't go crazy with it. So. And I don't know, I think if I was renting the building, I'd like to rent to somebody like us because the number one thing is your rent. Your rent's gotta be paid on time, which it is. We've never been late, not even once. Five years is 60, 60 months. 60 months of almost a thousand dollars a month. That's a lot of money. We've we've given them all that. So like like I don't know. I really don't know what 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 uh, uh, a company's looking for. I guess they're just looking to get more money out of you. That, you know that's the only thing I can think of. Because what if I if I was renting to people, I'd want to know what kind of people they were. Uh, I I'd ask the the place where they rent if they're any trouble if they if they pay their rent on time and all that kind of stuff. And if they do and they're no trouble, they don't bother you every day. This this this, this something else. And you know they they, they behave themselves. I don't know what more you could be looking for in a tenant. I'm not sure. Anyways, whoops, something came up on my screen there, but I missed it. All right, whatever it was, I missed it. I don't think it's my battery because I'm plugged into my external battery. So I don't think it's that. Something else, but I missed it. Maybe it's a phone call, text, or something. And 
Yeah, there's one going up right there. But we don't want us we don't want it in this neighborhood. We want to get closer to everybody's work. With all the trips you're making a day, two in the morning and two at night, five days a week. And our car got a V6 motor and we're burning, we're burning the boat. We figured it up. It's somewhere in the vicinity of $180. Uh, a month, no, not a month, let's see. I gotta wait, let this truck go by. Um, it costs, yeah, yeah, it's $160 a week. That's what it is, $160 a week because we're spending $80 to, to gas up the car each time and they never do it twice a week. $160 a week for gas. Driving the lower sack, filling back two trips a day and up to Burnside two trips a day and anything else that might come up while I have the car, but I don't drive it much. So you take $160, that's $320 every two weeks, $640 for a month and a few more days. So about $650 a month in gas. So that's not even sensible. We could have a place close to, close to their work wouldn't have to drive the car so much. About every three months, after an oil change, like, like, this is ridiculous. Most people go a year. So we're trying to get a place handy to their work. Hopefully that all works out. I'm on the bridge over the 111. Looking down on the highway here. Yeah. I bet I'll make everybody slow down. They'll think it's radar up here. And they'll all slow down now. want to go from here. Explore some side streets. <clears throat> All right, let's do that. We'll explore some of the back streets here. As we come down by the Woodlawn Plaza, which is right there. Woodlawn Plaza. Dodge Dealer, right here too. I think over the years I've been driving, I've had every kind of car. Like the regular cars, I haven't had, a, haven't had any of the luxury ones, but the, but the regular cars, I've had Ford, Jeff, Dodges, Nissan, and uh, uh, all more than that. And Plymouth, well that's the same company as Dodge, Chrysler. Uh, I've had a lot of stuff over the years, different cars. I had, I think, I think I kept count of them. I was like seven station wagons I, I've owned. 
back back in the old days before there was minivans when I was playing in a band the only way I could lug my stuff around was have a station wagon and that wasn't that wasn't all the band stuff that was just my stuff but it won't fit into a car I can tell you that and right now we've got an SUV and I don't know how much I can get in that for sure yet I've never tried to put everything we have in there. But I've always bought a station wagon before, before minivans came out. Now minivans aren't a thing anymore. Hard to get a minivan. Because everybody wants an SUV. So we jumped on the SUV bandwagon and got an SUV. But there is more room in this one than the last one. So I'm pretty sure I can get a quite a bit of stuff in there. Still on Portland yet, yeah, but I'm gonna get off of Portland here. There's Irving, did you hear the news about Irving? I imagine everybody's heard that now. They're looking into perhaps selling off the Irving oil. That's gonna be a big see they're the biggest, they're the biggest, I don't know if it was in the world or in North America or like they're the giant. Irving is a giant. Giant in, in oil and gas stations and all this stuff. They're, they're a giant. Here in Halifax, Irving is, is a whole lot of the economy. We got the place where the ships come in here with crude and, you know, and big tanks down there in Woodside area. But they're talking about the whole thing, like the the gas station, the, the, I don't know how far it's going to go. They're looking into it to see what they're going to sell, if any, or how much they can get. I don't know, all this stuff, they have to check it out. But, but they are saying that they are looking into it. Maybe uh, going out of the gasoline business, oil. So we'll see. That's a shock, because Irving is so huge. So, so big. The only reason they could be selling that that I can figure is, is that the Irvings all want to retire and or else they want to do something else that's really big and they need a whole lot of money. So maybe they're willing to sell off the, the gas side of their, their huge conglomerate of industries or who knows? But anyway, that made the news this week. Irving Oil is looking into selling all their assets in oil, Irving Oil. Now they're into other things. They got lumber, Irving Lumber, and tree cutting, and Irving Mills, and all kinds of stuff like that. So, all right, let's go. Push this here, we get a walk, we'll all go across here. I need a walk sign here because the crosswalks are too big. I can't I can't go across here if I don't have a walk sign for sure. Too far to go. These guys got a green light, but the traffic's out in the middle of the intersection. So they can't go. Now maybe we can get across. She's a long walk for a walk. Oh, not yet. No, we didn't get it yet. Now I gotta let the cars go left. 
and now I can go. All right, let's go get across this long crosswalk before it changes. I got 30 seconds. 30 seconds before it changes, 20 now. I guess it's possible to make it. Yeah, it'd be at 15 now, 14, 13, 12. You have about 10 seconds left, time to get across. This little uh, plaza right here is uh, the Woodlawn Plaza. They got a giant tiger store in there. You know, I hardly ever shop in this plaza. And I live really close to here. And I hardly ever come down here for something like, at Christmas time, we come to the bulk barn. My wife got her glasses there. And I think that's about it. Giant tigers right there. We don't even come down here. Oh, it don't figure, does it? No, I'm that close to giant tiger, and I could go there any time, and they don't bother even coming down here. Maybe I got to change that. We got to come down there sometimes. Whoops, sorry, uh, but my, my uh, camera jiggling around there. That was me, I was moving things with my arm. Okay, I'll try to be more mindful of where, where my arms are waving around here. Evolve Fitness. And then we got a Park and Sweet Thrift Store in there, which I think we might have been in there once or twice when we first came in. But it's been a while. Drive all over the city, go to stores, and there's stores right in our neighborhood. You never go in them. Don't, don't take it here. Does other people do that too? Or is that just uh, us? I'm on Woodlawn Road, still we're going to be on it for a while, and we'll go down Woodlawn. I don't think I've ever done a video walking across here on Woodlawn. As far as I know, I don't think I have. So, this will be first time, first time walking across Woodlawn. I've been by the Woodlawn Plaza, but not down through here.
Oh, I didn't push the button. Now I gotta wait again. I was supposed to push the button to get my walk train. Oh well, that's okay. I, time is not that important to me right now. I don't have anything to do until tonight when I have to go pick everybody up again. If we get that apartment we're, we're looking at, that will end my going to pick everybody up and taking people to work in the morning. My, my son will be able to walk to work and my wife will take the car because she works in Burnside. So I won't have to do it at all. I'll have my whole day then for video making and whatever I want to do. Won't that be great? School must be out on a break. I see a, a, a crowd of school kids coming along here. I don't even know where those are gonna come out exactly. Oh, no exit, it, it don't come out anywhere. It, it's top three there. It, it got no exit, so that's... Uh, not gonna work for me because there's no exit down this road. So, if I don't have an exit, where do I go? Hmm, no exit that way. Let's see. Cars must be going somewhere. I'm gonna keep on walking. It said no exit right there, but I think it meant that road over there maybe, because Woodlawn is a, is a major road, and it don't look like there's no exit here. Remember the 60s? Early 70s, all the houses looked like that. Bungalows. Now you don't see too many people building bungalows anymore. They were long and all in one level. Usually ground level, maybe a step or two. And that's what people were building. Now they don't resemble that at all anymore. Not many people build a house anymore. They, they buy one that, that a, a company has built. Developers, they build these housing areas. There's like 500 houses all look something alike. And they buy a house in there. We lived in a townhouse area in Toronto for a while. We were only renting, but but it was it gave me a taste of what the townhouse area was like and I wasn't fond of it. Because one thing there wasn't any store around there handy. You could walk one if you wanted to, but but there wasn't anything right handy. There wasn't any coffee shops right handy. There wasn't any any of the of the stuff that they, uh, there wasn't any of the, the things that you like in your neighborhood. Like where I live, I'm handy to stuff. And I kind of like it like that. But townhouse areas can be like two or three kilometers from, from where you, from, from anything.
Then if you get enough of them, they'll put a little plaza in there with a dentist's office, an insurance office, a doctor's office, maybe a florist, and you still don't have anywhere to go. I like those plazas with uh, Tim Hortons. Convenience store, maybe a restaurant. And then a few of those other things after that. You gotta have somewhere to hang out in your neighborhood. I'm hoping this road will bring me out somewhere where I recognize the scenery where I'm at. I might not even be on Woodlawn anymore. I gotta see when I get up here to a street sign. Cause I didn't know there was a trailer park up in here. This is a, this is unusual. I gotta look and see why, why we have a trailer park here. Let's see, there it is. I had no idea I was here. Right in behind the Woodlawn Plaza down there. The, there's, a, there's a trailer park in here. Well, how about that? They call it Woodlawn Village. Trailers are not the best thing to live in. Though they'll do, it's better than being on the street, but we, we lived in one for a year or two. And we were a lot younger then. And then. So, anyways, yeah, they're, they got a narrow hallway. They're, everything's in a row. There's the, the living room, then the bathroom, the kitchen, the bedrooms. It's all in a row. A little hallway down the side. No, not 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 great. And they're hard to heat in the winter. They're, they're, they take a lot of oil. You got oil furnace in there, and they, and they, and it takes quite a bit to to heat them. So not the greatest thing. Well, we'll see where this is going to come out. Got to come out somewhere down here. Woodlawn. I can't look at my Google Maps because I'd interrupt my video. So all I can do is keep walking and hope I come to something that I recognize. Right now, I have no idea where to get, where there's anything other than houses. I thought if I kept on Woodlawn, it might take me over to uh, some stores and things over this way, but I don't know. Well, I know how to go back, straight back Woodlawn if I get lost. This looks like a main type of a street up here. That looks like a major road. Maybe I'll make a make a left there. See if that takes me down to any place where I want to be. I know where I am now. But I was on this trail one day not long ago. Maybe a month ago. Morris Park, Woodlawn Road. Yeah, I walked on this trail. So I kind of got a picture of where I'm at now. There's some uh, ducks in that lake down there.
and that trail goes down around there, comes out somewhere, but I'm, I'm not going to take that. I'm going to just keep going here. And... I know I've seen this church before. We'll be driving by in the car, and I saw that, you know. Well, this is a learning uh, expedition because I'm, I'm, I'm learning where things are now anyways, which I never walked over here before first time. Hopefully this light up here will be a street I recognize and then I can take that to something that I know where it is. Woodlawn United Church, they got a lot of solar panels up on the roof. There's another United Church over on, well, off of, uh, oh, let me see, off of, off of, um, oh, just a second here. I'm new here, it takes me a little while to, on the, off of the Bedford Highway, one of those hills that goes up. There's the United Church up in there that's got solar panels like this one. The building looks different, but it's got solar panels too. So. It must be a thing, maybe they like uh, getting solar panels up there and you have to pay less money for light bills. All right, we'll see where this goes. Maybe this will take me over to, oh, that's Woodlot, okay. So this little street it must continue on that way if you're in Woodlot, I got it. This is what it's on and then it turns. Now well, they run a used clothing store in here. Good, we'll take wood on. This must be, the other way wouldn't help. So we'll go this way. Oh, no sidewalk here. I'll walk a little ways and then I'll go to the other side. No sidewalk on this side. Well, I take it that, that that was the United Church before they built that one. And now this is being used probably for some other purpose because the church is there. Yeah, this will be the old United Church, I would imagine. 52 Woodlawn Road. She's pretty old, all right. It was a small parking lot and a small graveyard here. And no doubt when this church was built, there wasn't any of these houses around here. More than likely it was out in the country. But things change over time. Things change. I gotta cross the street because there's no sidewalk here. I have no idea where I'm going. I just keep walking because I know we've been on this street in the car, but it's different when you're walking. <laughs> I thought I'd learn where, how to get through here and come out somewhere as I knew. But uh, not so far. Irving Cross Place, I guess, PL Place.
I'm just wondering what that building is up there. We'll find out maybe when I get down here a little closer. Everywhere I look, I see crime stopper sign. Does that mean this is a like a high crime area? Because we got enough. everywhere, every block, there's a crime stopper sign up. Well, apparently that's owned by Bell and Lyant. Probably some uh, telecommunications gear inside that building. There's no windows. Only, only fence. I would say it's something like computers in there that run the system here. There's the Woodlawn High School. Had no idea it was there. Tell you my backyard, I don't know it. I know the city and don't know what's right handy to me. Woodside via Baker. I have no idea where I'm at or where this is going to come out. Woodlawn, okay, it goes back down that way. So it makes a turn, it comes up here and turns and goes back. Woodlawn High School is pretty big uh, school. Well, how am I going to get out of here? I don't know which way to go. I don't know if I should go down that way, or if that would just take me nowhere. Keep going this way. I have no idea. No idea at all where I'm going. I will look up here. That's the uh, high school look behind me from whence I came and try to pick the right one. That's not going to leave me running around in circles here. Because I already came up. I made a left. I made another left. So in theory, if I make another left, that's going to go right back the direction I came from. So that won't help. So I have no idea where I am. Keep walking is all I can do. Keep walking and somewhere I got to come to something I recognize. Um, oh, I see a road up here with a lot of traffic. Maybe, maybe that will help me out. So we'll see when I get up there. That could be the answer to this, uh, to this little dilemma of mine. There's the big sign for Woodlawn High School. Big school. And I don't know what that building is right there. I'm not sure. I saw something up here that had a whole lot of cars going by. So maybe. Maybe that one will lead me to something. It 
looks like a through street up here. So that might be some help. Okay, it's Main Street. I know now which way to go. You go left, you go downhill. Will that take you back down? Again, I came around in a big circle. Just going down to Main Street. Wow, I had no idea I was at Main Street. We came up quite far too, I think. But no, oh well. I don't know this area at all right here. First time I ever walked this. Never drove it, I don't think, across all the way here. So this will be like the, the first time of coming in this area. So there we have it. I kind of learn something as I walk around up here. Main Street, there we go, down the hill. How far out am I? I don't know. I don't know how far I am. On that Nova Scotia Community College, but that don't tell me much. I'm not used to seeing that. <laughs> Main Street. Oh, the teachers are on strike here. Yeah, teacher, teachers, helpers, the teacher's aid or whatever. They, call them. They're on track here. School support, that's it. School support. All right, I'm on Main Street, but which direction do I go? I think I go down the hill. Uh, down the hill I live. Well, you go downhill both ways. So I still don't know which way to go to get down. Down, down, town, I guess you call it. Downtown. You go over the hill that way. You go, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm at Main Street and I still don't know which way to go. Hmm. I think we'll go that way. We'll go, we'll go this way. I think this is the right way. Down the hill. All right. Push the button. Yeah, this must be the right way. I'm going down the hill. That has to be it. Whoops. The narrow. That won't help. I had no idea where I was going to come out. But we learn as we go. And when I get across here, I got to have a look and see how many minutes. This video has been going. Feels like it might be close to an hour. Well, I haven't got any trouble filling this video today. That's for sure. I'm gonna go farther yet. I'm not gonna stop yet. Hold 
that's a good spot for them to set up right there. Yeah, they got some they got some seats and and all this stuff and yeah, great great little spot for them to set up. Okay, down the hill I guess. Yes. I know I'm in the right direction now because I can see the three smokestacks in the distance. Uh, I'm a long ways from them. I'm a long ways from those smokestacks. Well, it's, it's been... Uh, it's been different. <laughs> it's been different today. I've been walking blindly. I'm showing you the city and I don't know where I'm going. But now I've learned something. I can walk up Wood Lawn and get to Main Street. And I'm gonna go down this hill and I'm gonna be right down where all the plazas and all that stuff are. And there's a long and McWay down this area too. Well, we are heading the right direction, I know that. So that's good. Can't go wrong now. Well, we will, we will arrive in the place we know before long. Let me see how long this video is now. 57 minutes so far on this video. I don't want to make it too long because you might get bored watching it. Yeah, we haven't got too much farther then we'll be right down right downtown here again in the in not I wouldn't say downtown Dartmouth, but downtown what is it, Woodlawn area? I don't know. Main Street anyways, yeah I guess. I guess it's could be called the Woodlawn area. Maybe. Main Street area. Maybe not Woodlawn, I don't know. Main Street area, yeah. The downtown of Main Street, whatever this place was called before it was ever part of Dartmouth. All right, we'll keep it going until we get down here. And somewhere down here we'll end it. I come this far, I don't want to turn it off now without getting back down into civilization here. So we'll keep her going until we get down the hill. This area I know now, I know where I'm at now. It was just those residential streets. I never walked on them before. I didn't, didn't realize where they were gonna bring me out or anything. But now i am got my bearings back completely. And my main street, there's a lot of things we go to down here. We go to the Dairy Queen quite often, McDonald's. Uh, Tim Hortons, up by Lawton's. We go there, I can't say I go to Lawton's very much, but I go to Tim Hortons. We go there every morning on the way to work. We stop at Tim Hortons for, for a coffee and we'll take it with us. And, uh, All right, what's up, little guy? Little guy, He got his, uh, he got his uh, 30 seconds of fame. Every once in a while that happens. You, you walk along and somebody wants to get right in front of your camera there. They know you're making a video. That's all right. You got to roll with it, right? Yeah. Don't get too excited. Just roll with it. There was a guy down in Dartmouth. 
he used to, uh, it happened to me twice. I was walking down, down, the, down um, Portland Street, way right downtown. And he jumped out from somewhere right in front of me and started waving his arms and, and, and cursing. And, and like it was, it was awful. I cut him out the last time he did that. I cut him out of the video. I said, I'm not going to subject people to that. I, so I cut that piece out. I see uh, what looks like a motorcycle store down here. RPM cycles. And I can see them parked there. That's a motorcycle place, yeah. RPM cycles. Hmm. I guess uh, quite a while ago, there was a building right here. There's the parking lot where they used to park. See the lines painted on the ground? And it looks like it might have burnt, but I don't know for sure. Guessing. There was something here, but it's gone now. There's the remnants of the sign that was up, I'll show you that in a second. Right there, that's where the sign was up. Maybe somebody's seen this video will remember what was here. Let me know <laughs> if you want to. Uh, I always get a lot of help from my viewers. If there's something I don't know, they know, they'll let me know. So, if you know what this place was right here, Right on this little corner right here. Just up the hill from the Dairy Queen and Jesse's Pizza and Auto, Auto Pro. Continue. I won't hold this guy up. I'll just go around him. Yeah, we go to that place a lot, Dairy Queen. One of our favorite places. We usually go on the weekend, but not, don't go to the week. Go on the weekend. Not every week, but a lot of weeks.
drive downtown, I guess, and we'll go across the street. I may walk up to uh, Tim Hortons, maybe. I know a shortcut home from there. I might go to Tim Hortons, hang out there for a little bit, and then head for home. Once I can see my phone and see what time it is, I can't, I can't, I can't disturb my video right now. This is the West, West Fall area, because I saw the sign there, West, West Fall. McDonald's are now hiring for $16 an hour. Uh, one day that would have been big money, $16 an hour. But not anymore. Now you gotta make at least 22, 23, 24. Small U-Haul business over there. Don't look like it's got a whole lot of stuff there, but there's some big ones here in this city too. Up, up on uh, Windmill Road, there's a huge U-Haul place. If I want a U-Haul vehicle, I'm going up there because they got the they got the a big selection of stuff. Westfall, I guess. I guess that's what this is, place is called. I'm looking for another sign that says the name on it. Because I saw Westfall on a sign behind me a ways in. If I see one more sign, I can call this Westfall. I haven't seen a second one saying Westfall yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I haven't seen any more Westfall signs, but there's uh, Long and McQuaid. Great little store. I've been in there before. They got lots of stuff in there. I got to stay out of there because they make me poor going into Long and McQuaid. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't complain. I, I love everything I ever bought from them. Everything. Well, I'm almost, yes, okay, it is now, I know it's called Westfall. Because this plaza up here where Tim Horton is, it's called a Westfall Plaza. Okay, that settles it, I'm in Westfall. I knew I had to have a name because you can't say 
Main Street. There's, there's Main Streets everywhere. So. So we're going to go up to uh, Tim Hortons, finish the video off up there, and then I'm going to put it up my stuff away while I'm into Tim Hortons and uh, then walk home from there because I know a shortcut. Okay, I'm going to take a shortcut home from there. I made a video of that once. You, you go behind Tim Hortons and walk down that walkway and then they go over that little bridge to the other side of the road and that takes you right almost up to our area well, walk sign here we go up to towards Tim Hortons. Westfall Plaza. Subway, Woodlawn Medical Center, Lawton's and Tim Hortons is up in there too. See it? You can see it right from here. Tim Hortons. Every Tim Hortons is really busy in the daytime. When I first moved here, this one was open all night. And let's see, the one on uh, Windmill Road was open all night. And we used to stop there in the morning when I take my wife to work. And it was open, like the, well, the military police used to go over and hang out there, and some of the city police as well. And it was open, you could go right inside. Ever since COVID, nothing's open. They didn't open them back up. I don't know if they'll ever open them back up again. It was kind of nice to, when I was in Toronto, we had a, we had a Tim Hortons about, a 10 minute walk at the most from where we lived. You could drive it in like half a minute, but it was about a 10 minute walk. And it was open all night, all night long, and it was full of people. You, I'd be on in there at 3 a.m. and the place is packed. You're like, don't anybody ever sleep here? That's our city that never sleeps, it's Toronto. It, it, uh, Tim Horton's coffee shops are full of people at, at 3 a.m. There was one on Young Street, Young. Young, a little bit, a little bit north of uh, our street, which was Finch, a little bit north of that. There was a, a Tim Horton's where we used to stop in in the morning when I'd be taking my wife to work and I'd be on my way to work. And uh, we used to stop in there for coffee. Well, here we are. I'm at, I'm at the, the, the end of my journey. Let's see. One hour and 15 minutes long. I've almost broke my record here. I'm at Tim Hortons right now. Let's look out at the parking lot here and see and sign off, okay? Look at the cross this way. There we go. If you enjoyed this video today, if you enjoyed watching me get lost, <laughs> yeah, and all that it was fun anyway we had a good time enjoyed the walk if you did push that like button that would just be wonderful and if you're a subscriber my thanks to you for subscribing because quite a number have but if you haven't it doesn't cost anything just push that subscribe button and it would help me immensely that one subscriber don't help me much but they all add up and the more you get and the more 
the more the, the better it would be for me. Okay. Uh, let me see. What else do I want to say? Oh yeah. If you make comments on there, I love I loved when I'd open it up. I open at it every morning. I open it up and see who made a comment. And I love talking to people who make comments. As long as they're good ones. Don't make don't make bad ones. That's not that's no good. Okay, make nice comments and I'll be happy to uh, answer you. Not many people ever make bad comments really. Well, they're, they're, they're few and far between. Okay. With that I hope you're having a really great day. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.